Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to convert from Newtons to durometers. A durometer is actually not a unit at all. In fact, it is a measure of hardness of a particular given material. So whereas a Newton is a unit to measure force, a durometer is a unitless number that ranges from zero to 100. And there is a way to relate the two, but one has to understand what the Young's modulus parameter for the material is. So an equation for the Young's modulus, EY, in terms of the durometer parameter is given by 0 0.098 times 56 plus 7.63 times s, where this is the durometer parameter ranging from 0 to 100, divided by 0 0.138 times 254 minus 2.54 s. If we invert this equation, then we can come up with an expression for the durometer in terms of Young's modulus. And so we end up with s is equal to 0 0.5, sorry, 5.49 plus 34.93 times the Young's modulus E divided by 0 0.748 plus 0 0.349 E. Now, we can consider two materials. For example, we have nylon, or nylon, and nylon has a Young's modulus of approximately 3 gigapascals, which is equal to 3 times 10 to the 9th, or 3 billion, newtons per meter squared. So here we have the force, newtons, and the Young's modulus, is formulated in terms of a pressure, so we have force per unit area, in this case newtons per meter squared, and when we plug in this value, 3 gigapascals, for the Young's modulus into our expression for this durometer measure, we end up with a value of approximately 61.44, where it's unitless. If we do the same thing for steel, we see that steel has a Young's modulus of approximately 200 gigapascals, and therefore the durometer measure for steel, if you calculate it out, is approximately 99.1. So we see that steel is a much harder material than nylon is. And this is the essence of a durometer. And there are different scales, the two most common being the A and the D scales. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is How to Convert from Newtons to Durometers.